Good morning, everybody. And um, I, I tell you what, uh, it's a long time in coming, but it's unfortunate that we have to come to this solution and resolution. You know, I'm going to address you, you this morning on the Citizens Bank building. And I remember as a youth being able to walk into that historic facility and meeting Mr. McKinney and shaking his hand and many honorable people served and worked in that facility and it was truly an honor the older I became to be able to go on the seventh floor and be able to enjoy Sue Hannibring's fine dining but it's unfortunate 20 years later of where we have come to so I'm going to address you this morning on the progress and what the city's actions are that we're taking as mayor, it is my duty to take the information provided to me and make a decision based on the interest of the community. And I believe the interest is bringing a final resolution to a downtown burden that has been a topic of discussion, concern, and frustration for 20 years. Late yesterday afternoon, we provided a seven-day notice of emergency condemnation intentions to legal counsels for Bruce Burrow, One Main Square LLC, and Andy Smith of Laurel Park LLC, the two known entities associated with the former Citizens Bank Building Tower located on 100 West Washington. After thorough research and multiple meetings with engineers and construction professionals, it has been determined that the most practical, expedient, and safest action to reopen Main Street is to move forward with an emergency condemnation process to remove the structure. While this process runs its course, we will continue to research alternatives that would allow the reopening of Main Street. At this time, we simply don't have the professional confidence that a partial remedial effort will allow that even after a significant investment by the city. Early next week, we plan to begin exploring options for removal of the building. What we plan to learn is what the best, most efficient, and safest options for demolition are and what that might cost. Additionally, we are researching possible environmental and abatement related actions that may be required. Upon completion of those steps, the city will arrive at a cost estimate. The estimate would be presented to city council for funding authorization if building interests have not taken action on a comprehensive and immediate remedy to all and potentially yet unknown safety hazards associated with the building. We are documenting all costs involved with this process and plan to seek repayment by all available means once this process is completed. That may or may not be successful, but at this point, inaction is not an option when a major corridor is impacted of our wonderful downtown is also hurting. Since this is now a legal matter, in order to protect the city, I will defer questions to our city council, our city attorney, Carol Duncan. I feel transparency is of the utmost importance on this matter. And we have copies of this and everything relevant information available to the media and plan to continue documentation as notable details evolve. My hope has been that this building could be saved and redeveloped. I hope this spurs immediate action, but the time for that to be an option is quickly closing. Issues surrounding this structure have simply gone on far too long, and we will not stand while stand by while businesses are suffering. It's about safety. It's about our community, and it's about the residents of this community. It is a complicated issue, but we're going to do what is best for our residents our first responders, no more half measures. It's time for resolution. I appreciate you coming today in attendance. I'm now going to turn it over to our communications director, 
and she will be able to provide you the areas where if you have any further questions, you can go for it. Thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate you. Thanks, fellas. Um, as you know, uh, at media, if you'll, as you'll look around the, the room, you'll see several of our directors with the city who have all worked pretty hard on putting this, this plan of action together. It has been quite an effort, and um, I, I'm glad that they're in attendance today, too. And as the mayor said, we have packets of information that uh, some of you have already made some requests, and those are available as you uh, walk out the door. And we have... Um, um, you know, you have you have my phone number. If you don't, uh, it's it's uh, on the website, and you can you can email me. However, get in touch with me. Not that I can talk any more than than uh, than the mayor can, but I I can tell you who who can. And Carol Duncan is our legal counsel, and there may be other legal counsel involved. So we want to make sure that we do the exact right thing on this lengthy legal process. Thanks for your attendance today. It was important to all of us that you all get the same information at the same time and that we be um, as thorough as the city can possibly be and as open and transparent with our community as we could possibly be on this occasion that is both... um, sad and also um, vital to what's going on in our community. Thanks for your time today, y'all.